Uh, hello, this is going to be a tutorial for uh, creating a dynamic door block. We want the door to be able to um, have three sizes. Uh, we want it to go into two different wall sizes. Uh, and we want to be able to flip it right and left and inside and outside. Okay, so to start you just draw all your objects that you want for the door on layer zero. This door is 38 millimeters wide and 900 long. It's a metric file. Uh, the door frames are 25 millimeters by 100. Um, I'd advise you use the rectangle tool, not four lines. It's just easier to work with. And an arc whose center of the radius is right where the hinge is on the door. It goes from this door frame, hinge, right up to there. So not this corner, but that one, okay? All right, once you've got your elements drawn, you need to just create a regular old block from this. Uh, so I go to Create. I'm going to call it Door. I'm going to specify the base point on screen. I'm going to have this set to Convert to Block. And uh, this will be in millimeters. So pick point. Oops, select objects. And the base point will be on the hinge. All right, as soon as you've got that into a block, click on it, uh, and the whole thing should highlight. In the properties, you'll see the name of it right there, door. Okay, next step is to open that in the block editor. I just double click on it. When I double click on a block, the edit block definition, there's door, say OK. And you should come into this kind of gray background type screen. Um, you should have uh, authoring palettes. That's these guys. If you don't, click up here on block editor and click on authoring palettes. Okay, that's when you get these things here. Okay, when you're creating dynamic blocks, usually, and I just say usually, not always, you have to give it a parameter, and then with the parameter will come an action. So the first thing we're going to do is start with um, a linear parameter. You click on that, and always read the bottom line, the command line. Right now I'd like to know the start point, which is going to be the hinge. And then the end point will be the other side of the door frame. It looks like a dimension. That's a linear parameter. Okay, it's just giving you a little warning. Um, it's not too happy about something. That's okay. If you click on the parameter itself, go down in your properties, go down to its number of grips. And this one is just light, would like a little bit wider there. So make that one. The first point disappears, and you'll have a nice cyan um, triangle on the right-hand side. Okay, with that linear parameter, we now want to um, add an action. So we're going to give this parameter a stretch action. So go to the Action tab, click Stretch. First thing it wants to know is which parameter, so you click on Distance 1. It wants to know which point to associate that with, and we're going to use the um, cyan triangle there. Click corner of the stretch frames. So for this one, we're going to click up here above the door. You'll see a nice little blue fence and down there. So what we're doing is we're crossing over the door there. So click. Select the objects to do this stretch to, and because I used a rectangle, it's just one click. And then hit Enter. And what you'll see down here is beside the linear parameter is a little stretch action. If you select that parameter and go into the properties, see where it's called Distance 1? We can rename that to Door Width, so we know what we're talking about there. Okay, along with um, the door width, we want to add a couple more sizes to it. So we're going to select that parameter again. And in the properties under value set, you see distance type is none. Click on the word none 
and we're going to give it a list. Right now only 900 is in there. Click by the 900. Click on the three dots that show up. And we're going to add um, an 800 door add and an 850 add. So there's our three door sizes. Okay, good. Now we've got three different door sizes that we can stretch this door into. Okay, the next um, next step, let's make this um, block, um, let's give the arc a scale so that it'll change along with it. All we need to do now is on the Actions tab say Scale, select the parameter, it's the same one, Door Width. The object we're scaling is just the arc. Hit Enter and it um, it knew the rest. The parameter is guiding that action. And then the last one we want to do is add one more stretch and this is to move this right hand door frame in and out. Go back to your actions stretch, select door width parameter. The start point is the cyan triangle and this time the corner of stretch frame we're over here on the right, upper right, down below the frame so that we're completely um, covering that door frame. The object it just is one click because I hope you used a rectangle for that. Hit enter and now we're good. So you should see three actions when you hover over them they light up and the parameter lights up. So these three actions are associated with that door width. Okay, to test out if your block is working pretty good, go up here to test block. Takes you to your block, click on it, and you should see your little blue or cyan colored triangle. When you click on it, you see those nice little um, dashes for the sizes. But look what's happening to the door. It's not behaving properly. So this is why we test our block close that test window and what we needed to do there was um, click on the parameter and for the or I'm sorry click on the first action and for the angle offset instead of zero we wanted that actually to be 90 okay so we told that door to stretch in 90 not in zero I'm going to test that again, click, test out that little stretch action, there. So now it works really good. Do you see the door is stretching, the arc is scaling, and I've got my three sizes, and the frame on the right is going with it. Everything's good. Close your test block, might be a good time to um, perhaps save the block. You've done a bit of work. Okay, um, we're going to stop here and um, if you read the rest of the PDF I gave you, uh, we're going to add some more things in a minute. I'll give you a chance to um, catch up.